All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Stomper Be Thomping. In this video, I'm going to go over the Scan Gauge 3 and how I use it to monitor all sorts of different temperatures and things like regens on these 3.0 liter Duramax diesels from GM. So this is a 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 with the 3 liter diesel. So I'm going to hop in here and show you my setup real quick. First and foremost, here's the mounting system. So this little mounting tray thing is made by a company called bullet point mounting solutions these things are not cheap but i will say they are pretty well made so they give you hardware they, they make them custom shaped for any type of uh, vehicle so whether you've got a whatever ford gm toyota it doesn't matter if they if they have a tray they make a they make a mounting system for that tray so what they want to do is they give you hardware to screw it into the dash but instead of doing that I took this little rubber mat that came with the vehicle, took it out, put a little bit of super glue on the bottom of this unit, and then I put it in there and put a heavy weight on it, and it's been holding super strong. I had a very similar setup in my previous Tundra, and uh, it's been rock solid and doesn't come loose at all. So it's a nice little mounting tray. This is kind of what I use to mount up the, uh, the Scan Gauge 3, which is just a little magnet mount, hooks up right there. It's not in my line of sight. It kind of, you know, here, here's my sight line right up here. So it's, it's nice down low, out of the way, easy to read. But that's kind of the mounting system for, uh, for the tray. And you can get these little arms that attach and everything. Yeah, anywho, uh, great product. Stupidly expensive in my opinion, but you kind of get what you pay for there. So with the Scan Gauge 3, uh, there's so many different options where you can monitor things i never even thought of i'm not a mechanic i'm not a diesel expert i'm not a def expert uh whatever um i'm just a dude who likes to monitor stuff while towing and hauling and plugging this thing into the obd2 sensor down or port down here is very simple you just plug it in and when the unit starts up it gives you an option you just you just select the year of your vehicle and then the manufacturer so 2024 gmc and it auto populates all the available monitoring uh, features that you can you, know, you can access. So it not only does that though, you can do uh, you can scan for codes, um, you can clear codes, you can check pendings codes, you can check uh, emissions stuff, all all that cool stuff. So then you go back to your gauges here, and I'll start walking you through these. But I just want to show you that there are a huge list of sensors that you can monitor in here some of them may be kind of like bogus whatever but like or just kind of redundant but there's just a ton of information and that's in the standard setting so if you go to the trip setting here you got a bunch of other uh information so your tank distance uh, some of this may be useful some of it is not at all um rpm max today hey you got some kiddos who are uh <laughs> who are uh, racing around and you don't want it to you can check their rpms and stuff anywho um but yeah here's my here's my main page i'll walk you through these real quick average re regen distance that's pretty straightforward that's the amount of miles traveled between regens there's also another option that is time between regens and that's in hours and minutes so that may be more useful to some people especially if you are typically st sticking to like the same uh the same routes over and over obviously coolant temperature this thing does have a coolant gauge in the bottom left hand corner there but it's just kind of a dummy gauge um i i do have my trans temperature there so i like that you get an actual number and then uh engine oil temperatures i'll say in these gms holy smokes they get high i'm used to the 2023 tundra which i traded in for this vehicle and the tundra would pretty routinely keep its engine oil temperature is about 10 to 20 degrees cooler. Um, I did tow my travel trailer, uh, my it's actually a toy hauler, approximately like six to 6,500 pounds uh, out into the mountains of West Virginia. And the Tundra maybe got into like the low 230s, give or take, just briefly. And then this truck got into like the low 240s. So I've just noticed that the, the engine oil temperatures in this truck are on the, on the higher side. Def dosing, that's just a percentage. I'm sitting here idling and I'm not really using any def, um, but that will go from in increments of 0.5. So 
So that'll go 0.5, 1, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. Um, and that's just the amount of available dosing it's pushing into the system at any given point. So when you're just cruising around an empty, light-footed, you're using maybe 1%, 2%, 0.5%. But when you're accelerating up a hill with a loaded bed or pulling a trailer up a hill, or if you're under a regen, that's when you really start to use a lot more depth. So you'll see a dosing percentage of 10, 20, 30%. Uh, towing a trailer uphill, I've seen it as high as 60%. So then def used this drive. I think that's a really cool feature, especially if you're towing um, along a normal route, like to a cabin or to a lake, anything like that. Um, you can kind of see on average how much def you're using per drive. And this is gonna be in liters, you can see there. And uh, so there's what, 3.8 liters approximately in every get US gallon. And these tanks are approximately 5.5 gallons. So then we get to exhaust gas temperatures over here on the right hand side. I have up here bank one sensor three. There's also options for uh, bank one sensors two, sensor th one. I think sensor one is closest to the turbo, but sensor three, I believe is closest to the actual DPF or whatever the combination DPF catalytic thing that, I don't know, GM's got like a unique DPF system on this specific 3.0. Here's another gauge that I really like, the def tank level. So that's a percentage. Right now I got about 75.3% and it's pretty darn accurate. Over here, I've got the dummy gauge up and you can see here, it's showing I have almost a full tank. But if I go over here, I'm actually only at three quarters. So, I mean, it's not it's not like it's a world of difference and really far off. But this is just, in my experience of driving about 3,500 miles now, this is way more accurate. So, I like monitoring the actual def tank level. Um, and then it will it'll kind of fluctuate to like maybe um, two, three, four percentage, uh, whether you're like going uphill or downhill. Um, it's pretty darn accurate though. It's a very, very consistent. So the regen status, pretty straightforward, active or off. Right now I'm not regening. And then I really like this one too. This is called the regen trigger. And right now I'm sitting at 88.24%. So once that gets to a hundred, it may sit there for 30 seconds, a maybe a minute or so, but it'll then initiate a regen and you'll see your status go active. So that's pretty cool. Good way to monitor uh, if you're getting close to a regen, so you can just kind of complete it before parking your vehicle, uh, if you care about that. You can just GM allegedly design these to where you can just ignore regens and it does it all in the background for you. So you, this is my primary page, um, but here's my second page. I don't go here very much, but I've got a few other different things on here like boost pressure, uh, a redundant engine oil temperature again, battery voltage. This one shows your def concentration. So I typically see 32 or 32.5%. I've seen as high as 33% and I've seen as low as 31%. So that's your percentage of urea and your def concentration. Yeah, it doesn't say so, but yeah, uh, I looked it up, but that's your percentage of urea. So I think you want like 32 and a half, but it really doesn't stray too far from 32 and a half. Coolant max temperature today was 224. You know, there's just a bunch of different things in here that you can monitor. And then it gives you a third page too. So you've got all these different things that you can monitor and you can fill up, uh, what, nine times three, 27 different items if you want and uh, monitor all this information. So that's kind of the scan gauge three. It is kind of a pricey tool, but if you kind of geek out over numbers and you do like to monitor your def usage and your regen status and how close you're getting to a regen and when, if you just like to monitor all that information, especially your engine oil temperatures too, uh, it's a great way to do it. So I highly recommend the Scan Gauge 3. And even though I think they're overpriced, I do highly recommend this, this mounting unit from Bullet Point Mounting Solutions. It's a very high quality made product. Yep, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, everybody.